So 60 kilometres, 20 laps, Sandown. We're leading towards building a grid for tomorrow's Penrite Oil Sandown 500. And this is another cracker, all for the co-drivers. And the Evergreen, Craig Lowndes drops the clutch, blazes into Turn 1 on the racing line. And that was it, he was gone. For Fullwood, a little mistake down the inside, kind of jostling at that time, put him on the dirty side of the road. Had a big lock up and then just barely scampered out the other side and uh, the rain came down. Sure enough, on cue, made things harder. We saw some incredible moves. Nice job by Will Brown. It's so hard out there with a tonne and a half of race car on a Dunlop slick tyre. We painted kerbs and it caught people like Bryce Fullwood. Now, how he got away with this one without hitting anything is amazing. And dip your hat also to Alex Premer, who managed to avoid all the trauma and got away with it. So tense moment inside the garage of Kelly Racing. This was a interesting run as well. Premer on the outside, Moffat in the middle, Thomas Randall, his teammate on the inside. But for James, he slid down the curb in coming out of turn one. And then as he did it, the car jumped sideways, contact with his teammate, really unfortunate set of circumstances, slides across the grass and pops out on the other side without hitting anything, but then unfortunately steering was damaged on that car, popped him into the fence. He did manage to get it home. He's pretty frustrated and angry when he spoke to us when he did finally get back there. But this is another remarkable story in the story that is Craig Lowndes, a veteran racer, a super champion, and it was really the master and the apprentice. Lowndes gets home by a margin over Will Brown with Garth Tander in third position. What a cracking race and another to come.